we got all the highly coveted Disney reservations like Space 220, classic but kid-friendly Chef Mickey, the all-you-care-to-eat family favorite Ohana, and the nearly impossible to get Cinderella's Royal Table, and we booked it during Christmas week, two weeks before we left. Let's show you how we did it. Hey, Disney travelers, it's the OCD Traveler, and I just booked last-minute travel to Walt Disney World adjacent to Christmas week. It's going to be the busiest time of the year, and I got all the dining reservations I could have possibly ever wanted, and it only cost me nine bucks. I'm not making any money on this, but it worked so well, I thought I'd show you to save you time and tears on your next Disney trip. Here we go. All right, we're going to kick things off with how we booked our dining plans. We went over to a fresh browser, went over to Google, and just simply typed in book Disney dining. Easy enough, right? Now, of course, I did try to use Disney's dining feature, but I was two weeks out, so it really didn't make any sense. So instead, I was going to go back to Mouse Savers. You can see me scroll past that. I had used Mouse Savers in the past. What I don't love about Mouse Savers is it only allows for five alerts at a time, and it costs $19 a month. So I'd heard positive things about Mouse Dining, so I decided to check that out. That's going to be what I highlight today. All right, and here's the Mouse Dining landing page. Now, right from the get-go, you can type in a restaurant, and it'll tell you for free if anything is available. Instead, I went into pricing. And look at that, for free, you can get six alerts, which is pretty awesome to have that as a free service. Monthly, however, for $9 for one month, you can get 50 active alerts. So what that means is by hitting the Create Alert in the upper right-hand corner, you can tell the system what restaurant you're searching for. So here's an example. I launched this. I'm going to put in Be Our Guest, a pretty popular restaurant. I want my reservation for three people, and then I will pick out the specific day. So in this case, I picked December 27th. And I'll go to view openings to see if anything is currently available. And as that screen loads, you can see there's actually time available. Lunch at 11.55 or dinner at 9 o'clock. That's too late for me. So I said, you know what? I want it at 6 p.m. So I set that alert. Next, I'll hit set another alert because I want the same reservation the next day. And I'll just change the date to Thursday the 28th and set the alert. Now, anytime that becomes available, they will send me a text message so I can book it. Now let's take a look at all the reservations I attempted to get. Space 220, top of my list. Oga's Cantina, I went there the last time I went. Beaches and Cream Soda Shop, my, a little cathartic. My family and I love that. California Grill, Cinderella's Royal Table, Ohana, I had uh, Roundup Rodeo. I had a bunch of different selections for the 27th, the 28th, and the 29th of December when we'll be there. And then it allows you to put notes in there. I think that's for travel agents. A lot of travel agents use this, but let's say you wanted to put in an alert that says, uh, I don't really care about this particular dining reservation because I've got other backup plans. You can put in notes just to keep yourself organized. So let's take a look at the alert process. When you set up those alerts, you can be notified by email, text message, or both. I highly recommend text messages. Look at the number of text messages I got just on and on and on, probably an average of 10 to 15 a day. And again, this is for the busiest time of the year. So as you get those alerts, let me show you how you book them next. So as you can see, I got an alert for Oga's Cantina. I'll zoom in here. Now let me go ahead and click on that hyperlink and it's gonna bring me over to the My Disney Experience to book dining. So this will just act as an alert saying, hey, availability is out there for Oga's Cantina. You can see an 8.30 a.m. and a 9.50 p.m. I'll select the 9.50 p.m. It'll take me into that standard screen where you can see at the top that they're gonna hold that reservation for nine minutes. I'll confirm my contact information, the party. I love the fact that I can tell them that my son has a peanut allergy, so I'll go ahead and do that. If your party has any accessibility concerns, you can cite that as well, and then I'll continue on. All right, next up, I'm just gonna validate who I am. I'll have to provide a credit card hold, which I'm not gonna provide. Agree to the terms and services, and just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we have booked a dining reservation. And then it takes you back to the My Disney Experience screen, which I'll show you later. I'm adding this in because five days out, Cinderella's Royal Table, Chef Mickey's, Space 220, Beaches and Cream, Be Our Guest, all of those became available. I was really shocked to see Cinderella's Royal Table. I went through and was able to book it. I didn't actually book it. I'm not going because I would have had to actually spend the, what is that, $308, but this is super effective. Even last minute, you can get everything you've ever wanted. 
Speaking of everything you've ever wanted, let's take a look at our final results. So starting with lunch at Grand Floridian Cafe, then lunch at Space 220, dinner at Ohana, Oga's Cantina, Oga's Cantina. Again, that's all day one. Day two. And see, we've got more options locked and loaded. Roundup Rodeo, the new sushi place at Epcot. Roundup Rodeo again, Space 220, Oga's Cantina. We've got Ohana again and Beaches and Cream, a family favorite. And moving to our last day, Oga's Cantina, Roundup Rodeo, Oga's Cantina, Space 220. And then a bunch of California Grill reservations in Oga's Cantina to close things out. Well, there you have it. I made a ton of reservations, more than I could ever use. Uh, using that service, mousedining.com. $9 for 50 active alerts for one month. There is another service that you can look into called Mouse Watcher, but Mouse Watcher was $19 a month for five active alerts. And candidly, I had a much better success rate through Mouse Dining. Felt like a lot of the time I was using Mouse Watcher, I got blocked. So I highly recommend Mouse Dining. Keep in mind, you can still go in 60 days before your Disney Park reservation at 6 a.m. and start to make your dining uh, reservation request. I just thought for nine bucks, this was a no regret strategy and I would highly recommend it. But I am the OCD traveler reminding you to plan travel and repeat. Take care, everybody.